tutorial let us learn about navigation methods in selenium so first let's open visual studio and in the namespace section let us add using openqa.selenium and uh, in this tutorial let us test in chrome browser so i'm going to add selenium.chrome browser so first let's create a new instance of google chrome uh, web browser new chrome driver and first navigate method as you can see here instructs the driver to navigate the browser to another location so first let us learn about go to url method go to url method goes to a specific uh, url which you have added here so in this case i'm going to add google.com it's going to go to google here and uh, let us click on run as you can see it is building the solution it's creating a new instance of chrome browser and it is opening google.com now to maximize this window, all you need to do is driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. This syntax, this statement will maximize the browser. Maximize the browser. let's run this program it is opening google.com and now it's going to maximize the browser yeah so now let's navigate to facebook.com driver dot navigate dot go to url www dot facebook com and as you can see it is creating a browser opening google.com maximize the window browser window and go to facebook.com so now let us implement three most commonly used navigation methods forward backward and refresh so first let's implement refresh here refresh so all you need to do is driver dot navigate dot refresh this method will refresh the web page and to go backward you have to do is driver dot navigate dot back which will go to google.com in this case and again to go back forward forward you need to is driver dot navigate dot forward so let's run this program so first it's going to open google maximize the window then this it uh, then later it goes to facebook.com then it is going to refresh facebook it is going to navigate back to google and this one is going to navigate forward to facebook so let's run this program it has created google chrome instance it is going to google.com it is going to maximize the browser now now it is going to facebook.com now it is refreshing again back to facebook going back to google and now it's going to come back to facebook so finally we have implemented all most of the navigation methods Thanks for watching this video. In case you have any questions, please feel uh, free to drop the, uh, them in the comment section. I'll get back as soon as possible. 
in the next tutorial let's learn about implicit weight thanks for watching this video